Hi guys, it's KJ Jam and I'm back with my third TikTok for Welcome to Valentine that premiered last night 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. Like I said, it's Black History Month and I'm all for the diversity and inclusion. I really, 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 really wanted to like this movie and this movie was horrible. So let's get into the critiques, my critiques, along with other Hallmarkies that I saw on the Hallmark Facebook channel. Like I said before, some a lot of people said they stopped watching this movie 15 minutes to an hour and didn't finish it. That sucks for Hallmark, okay? I don't know how y'all do y'all ratings, but I would imagine people watching to the very end live is pretty important. Some folks said they went and did their taxes. Some people said they started cleaning. Um, you know, the, anything was better than watching this movie. This was pretty scary. Um, you know, once again, people said the two leads didn't have chemistry. I completely agree. Now, some there is a real Valentine, Nebraska. Some people were complaining that this was not shot in Valentine, Nebraska. If you are a true Hallmark, you will know that most of their movies that depict america are actually filmed in our sister country canada um if you're not a true hallmarky then you wouldn't know that the fact that some of y'all were waiting to see the real valentine nebraska baby it really comes down to budget clearly our sister country canada the budget is just more friendly there may be other reasons why a hallmark chooses to do most of their filming over in canada um, but talk to your congressmen, your people, what the budget costs to keep things here in the real Valentine, Nebraska or any town here. So boohoo for those of you that were mad that you didn't get to see the real Valentine, Nebraska. Now, this movie did something where they kept saying hi, guys, and it annoyed the living life out of me. It has something to do with Valentine's Day. And once you're in Valentine, Nebraska, instead of hi, it's a hi, ya. It was a no, no for me. Okay, it was actually pretty annoying. While it was a very beautiful cast, I literally thought the script sucked, the acting was not great. Who in the hell cares about a Valentine's Day parade? Maybe in small towns they are doing that, but it wasn't like Thanksgiving, it wasn't like Christmas, it wasn't even like a New Year float, it was Valentine's. I couldn't help but laugh when I saw some guys with big hearts on their chest walking in the parade like grown men when i say grown like 40 and up crew with big hearts on their chest gotta give it to hallmark they're like go big or go home this movie really missed the mark for me and it kind of effed up um love you Worry. a lot of people were wondering why was this movie not dwight didn't premiere last weekend um the weekend super bowl weekend before valentine's day my thing is some people like leads that they know. These were all unknown leads and I could understand that Hallmark decided that they could get a better hit with Alexa Peña Vega in Paris and they were right. 